Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear sisters and brothers, we are again gathered around this Eucharistic table to prepare ourselves to celebrate worthily these mysteries. Let us humbly acknowledge our own sins and ask God's pardon and mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come again in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that the course of our world may be directed by your peaceful rule, and that your church may rejoice untroubled in her devotion. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Sirach. To keep the law is a great oblation. And he who observes the commandments, sacrifice a peace offering. In works of charity, one offers fine flour. And when he gives alms, he presents his sacrifice of praise. To refrain from evil, from evil pleases the Lord. And to avoid injustice is an atonement. Appear not before the Lord empty-handed, for all that you offer is in fulfillment of the precepts. The just one's offering enriches the altar and rises as a sweet odor before the Most High. The just one's sacrifice is most pleasing, nor will it ever be forgotten. In a generous spirit, pay homage to the Lord. Be not sparing of free will gifts. With each contribution, show a cheerful countenance and pay your tithes in a spirit of joy. 
Give to the Most High as He has given to you, generously, according to your means. For the Lord is one who always repays, and He will give back to you sevenfold. But offer no bribes, this He does not accept. Trust not in sacrifice of the fruits of extortion, for he is a God of justice who knows no favorites. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. Gather my faithful ones before me, those who have made a covenant with me by sacrifice, and the heavens proclaim his justice, for God himself is the judge. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. Hear, my people, I will speak. Israel, I will testify against you. God your God am I. Not for your sacrifices do I rebuke you, for your burnt offerings are before me always. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. Offer to God praise as your sacrifice and fulfill your vows to the Most High. He that offers praise as a sacrifice glorifies me. And to him that goes the right way, I will show the salvation of God. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. Please stand. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You, you have, have revealed, revealed to the little, to little ones, ones the, the mysteries, mysteries of, of the, the kingdom. kingdom. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Peter began to say to Jesus, We have given up everything and followed you. Jesus said, Amen, I say to you, there is no one who has given up house or brothers or sisters or mother or father or children or lands for my sake and for the sake of the gospel who will not receive a hundred times more now in this present age houses and brothers and sisters and mothers and children and lands with persecutions and eternal life in the age to come. But many that are first will be last, and the last will be first. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. We have given up everything and followed you. That was what Peter said to Jesus. There was no indication of why Peter said that. Naniningil ba si Pedro? Naghihintay ba siya ng kapalit? Ibinigay namin ang lahat sa iyo, Panginoon. Sinundan ka namin. The Lord did not scold Peter for saying those things. 
but rather the Lord assured Peter and all those who will follow him, I will take care of you. God will take care of you. You will be repaid and even more than what you have given. Sabi nga eh, nag-uumapaw, siksik, liglig. Why? Because God cannot be outdone in generosity. So, ang sinasabi sa atin ng Panginoon, kapag sinunda natin ng Panginoon, ginawa natin ng Kanyang utos, ibinigay natin sa Kanya ang lahat, huwag tayong mag-alala, huwag tayong matakot. Ang Diyos ang bahala sa atin. Pero ang tanong nga ito, ibinibigay ba natin ng lahat? O ibinibigay natin yung hindi lamang natin kailangan? Are we giving everything to God? Or we are just giving anything that we do not need? Do we pray because we have less work to do? Wala akong masyadong gagawin ngayon eh. Walang masyadong assignment eh. Makapagsimba nga. Wala akong masyadong gagawin sa bahay eh. Pwede na akong magdasal. Anong ibig sabihin nun? Ibinibigay lamang natin sa Panginoon yung hindi natin kailangan. Ibinibigay lamang natin sa Panginoon yung sobra sa atin. That was not what Peter did. That was not what the disciples did. They gave up everything and followed the Lord. You know, incidentally, our first reading has the same message to us. Do not come before the Lord empty-handed. For the Lord is one who always repays and He will give back to you sevenfold. He always repays and He will give you more than what you have given. Because God cannot be outdone in generosity. So, my dear sisters and brothers, let us not be afraid to give everything to the Lord. Let us surrender everything to Him. Lord, ito'y iyo. Ako'y iyo. Gawin mo sa akin kung ano ang gusto mo. But, the first reading also has a warning. Offer no bribes. This the Lord does not accept. Offer no bribes. Wag nating suhulan ang Diyos. Yan komisyon ginagawa natin eh, no? Panginoon, magpapakabait na ako. Pagbigyan mo lamang ako sa aking hinihiling. Panginoon, nangangako ako sa iyo. Every Friday, pupunta ako sa iyo sa Quiapo para magdasal. Gumaling lang ako. Panginoon, ibibigay ko ito sa iyo. Basta, pagbigyan mo ako sa aking kahilingan. Lord, makapasa lang ako sa board. Makapasa lang ako sa bar. No? Ipangangako ko sa iyo, magdadasal ako araw-araw. Gagawa ako ng mabuti. That's bribery. We are not surrendering ourselves and everything to the Lord. We are making bribery. We are offering bribery. That is the warning of the first reading. You give, but do not expect anything in return. Magbigay ng walang hinihintay na kapalit. Bahala ang Diyos, ibibigay niya sa atin kung ano ang ating kailangan. Amen.
Please stand. Aware of the danger in putting our trust in the pleasures of this world, we lift our hearts up in fervent prayer to the Father as we say, Father, you are our all. Father, you are our all. That the church throughout the world may be an effective sign of the way to everlasting happiness and eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord, Father, Father you, you are, are our, our all. all, that we may learn to trust in spiritual values which enrich our being and not in material possessions which bring discontent to our souls. Let us pray to the Lord, Father, Father you, you are, are our, our all. all, that we may never close our hearts to those in need, but consciously involve ourselves in Christ's work of healing and reconciling. Let us pray to the Lord, Father, Lord, Father you, you are, are our, our own, own, that the sick and the disabled may experience the Lord's care through the love of their neighbors and friends. Let us pray to the Lord, Father, Father, you, you are, are our, our all. That our deceased relatives and friends may enjoy God's peace in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Lord, you, you are, are our all. In silence, let us pray for our own particular intentions. Heavenly Father, look with compassion on the needy. Enlighten our lives with your truth and give us the grace to live out the high ideas put before us by your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who provide gifts to be offered to your name and count our oblations as signs of our desire to serve you with devotion, we ask of your mercy that what you grant as the source of merit may also help us to attain merit's reward. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, 
Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As one family, we pray to our common Father in heaven. Our, our Father, Father, who art in, in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give, give us this day our daily bread, bread and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we, we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against us, us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil 
graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our many sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of, Lamb God. of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. Nourished by your saving gifts, we beseech your mercy, Lord, that by this same sacrament with which you feed us in this present age, you may make us partakers of life eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Pinagpalang bilikha, ipinaglihing walang sala, pusong dalis ay dakila, Maria ina ng awa.